There has to be an intentionality about healing. Everyone has to want it to happen. So the first thing that needs to happen is the vandalism needs to stop because these are good people who have worked all their lives to provide for their community and they're the ones whose property is being destroyed. But then there has to also be an admission that there is a problem in America with race. I call it American judicial apartheid because there's been a racial issue. We've called it everything else except racism. We've said diversity, multiculturalism, human rights. No, there's a race problem. And it starts in every family, whether you're young or old. It could be in high school when a counselor tells a smart student that you shouldn't even apply to college. It's your dates, your uncles, your brothers who get stopped consistently by the police. So instead of having the birds and bees story now, we're talking about cops and robbers. You have to really know about stopping and frisking. And those are the conversations we're having with our sons. I'm a mother of two sons. So I think there needs to be some town well, hall meetings. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. You know, usually these kinds of things happen in our country. And then a couple months go by and we don't think about them again. So is this a moment in our history or is this a movement, what's happening in Ferguson? It's both. It's a moment to begin a movement. Because what we have to have is we always receive respond when there's an emotional crisis. And you have to have someone who's non-emotional and who's objective, who comes in to look at the lay of the land. So there needs to be some short-term and some long-term strategy. The short-term is we've got to stop this violence. We've got to help see, the see, family see, But heal. you talk about someone, and I'm struggling to come up with a name, right? I don't because know if this is one name. Have CNN join me and do some town hall meetings all across the country. People have to have a place to gather, and people have to have a place to vent. When South Africa, after apartheid, had the reconciliation hearings, there was a group that admitted that they had done some wrongs and there was a group that received their apologies. And right, you have to have that. There was forgiveness, There was right? forgiveness. But you have to have some admission and you also have to have a chance wow. for people to forgive. Okay, so should President Obama go to Ferguson? I think he should, but even he and Eric Holder have had to have the talk with their sons and their, their family members who are male about the police stopping and frisking. So every black family has been affected by this. I think he should go, but I think, you know, we should go. I think that you have to have people who don't just respond in crisis time, but who begin to plan for the long range strategy. One of those issues is having more people that look like the majority population in the police force and elected office. So they have to do some training. And if you have to call it quotas, well, then they need to be some quotas, but you have to have people that look like the people who they're policing. I was a police chaplain for 21 years here in New York City, and I came in under Commissioner Lee Brown, and he really started community policing. People need to see people that look like them. Otherwise, it's kind of this minority over this majority, which is what apartheid really was. Right. On the other hand, we have to get along, too. We live in a diverse world, right? We live so, in a so diverse how do, world. So how do you, like, I understand that you need to see people who look like yourself. I do. I get it. But you also have to get along with those who don't look like you. And that's both sides. Very much so, but not when it's in a confrontational state. I mean, all that's happened in Ferguson is that, you know, now you have a confrontation that hasn't really been addressed. People thought America did not get this right. And they really didn't think that the verdict was going to come down the way it did. So you're talking about p diversity, people getting along. I was on President Clinton's president initiative on race back in 98 when he tried to put race on the table that it's going to be a multicultural to a diverse world. But we still have black Americans who feel that we haven't had our fair share in America. So you have to call it what it is, deal with it, and allow people to have the chance for forgiveness. But for forgiveness to happen, you have to have the conversation. Gotcha. And, and I, boy, I hope we have it this time. I, I do. Because, you know, we live in a great country and we should get along. And it's like, it's so frustrating it's and so frustrating. painful. It is. So thank yeah. you so much thank you for so your much. insight. I appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving. And, and happy thank Thanksgiving you so, so much too. for coming in.